Hi, my friends. Let's model the part number 28, a strong lever, from my collection of uh, 100 parts. Taking a look at the drawing, we see an interesting part with the uh, uh, solid construction and uh, the drawing has a lot of uh, details uh, very interesting before this I want to show you the real part and uh, how it is made this is very interesting and it is useful for us to understand how to create this model which is not very simple but uh, is still for beginners no problem to realize every every element here so let's see the real part This is the real part and you can see better that only the interiors are uh, machined and uh, the other are uh, crude. You see here the drawing, original drawing from 1983, which was uh, my starting point with uh, modeling this part. Uh, you see very interesting details here a lot of uh, marks and uh, a rudimentary uh, drawing because I was uh, obliged to uh, modify and create a new drawing We'll discuss about the drawing, but now I allowed myself to model a mold for the beginners to see how this part is created uh, in uh, current manufacturing practice. You see, there are uh, two parts of the mold. Uh, the part is uh, this gross block is placed in the inferior uh, mold and then the superior mold is uh, uh, moving so and the uh, finished part is taken from uh, the model and another one gross block is placed uh, here and the process is uh, repeating what can we see here we see a separation plane this one uh, and the conical faces everywhere inferior and superior as well yes in order to uh, uh, extract the part from the mold what you have to uh, understand is that uh, this is necessary this uh, conical faces are necessary in order to extract the part from the mold yes okay knowing this we go back to the drawing and we analyze uh, the situation you see this is the separation line for forging which uh, was mentioned before this straight line from this line to the exterior conical or sloped faces are uh, um, created you see all of them are 
uh, slope or conical. To create this uh, uh, model, we start with uh, creating this thin volume of uh, four millimeter thickness and with this contour, this line, this circle, and uh, uh, the, the upside one. New standard millimeters, the plane is this one, and uh, the axis, as I told, we start with uh, this two circles, 32, 52, uh, with a distance of 110, and then we apply uh, the angle, which is 30 degrees, 15 per side, uh, as a taper. 52, 32, 110. 52, 32, aligned on vertical, Z is vertical, X is horizontal. Uh, and tangents between these two circles we keep pressed the left button till we find a tangency yes now the distance of 110 millimeters and the trim of these two uh, arcs and then extrude extrude on uh, the other di directions four millimeters and then we have to uh, apply taper if you click here on this sphere you can see what happens. The positive is not desired. The negative is desired. So, and we write here minus 15. Because 15 is uh, on a side. Okay. This is the first uh, volume of this interesting part then we have to uh, go up to obtain this uh, two uh, ribs how can I call them both being uh, at uh, 30 30 degrees both yes here is a round part this is four millimeters which we already gain and uh, this is the profile we are now at this level yes with our construction let's uh, uh, go up we have to create this contour which is uh, in respect of uh, this di two diameters yes let's uh, continue on this face with two circles of uh, 
64.5 diameter and 51 diameter which are this 51 and 64.5 this is a contour which will respect at the level of this face we make this uh, contour here radius 10 radius 4 and uh, two parallel to the exterior but before we have to create here a small detail this one to have it as a reference close which has a, a radius of uh, two millimeters which has equal the two sides and you see here that from this face which is our base uh, drawing we have to measure 12 millimeters to up So, 30 degrees here, or here, 30, uh, a dimension here of uh, 12 millimeters. I'll fix this point, this point now is fixed. If I click here, you see the lock. And we create a driven dimension here. Accept. This is a driven dimension, uh, which is a re resultant. Yes, all these three are enough to define this contour. And this is added because we have to use this dimension on this face. We have these two circles and we have to draw two lines let's do it one restart two parallel to the existing uh, edges and then to apply the dimension from here to here taken from this dimension yes d10 okay and here the same indeed if you look here d10 is used as a reference parameter yes d10 is taken from another dimension done Yes, it was not in the screen and I was worried. Good. Now we apply this uh, to uh, fillets uh, R10 and R4. Lines to here. Here. And to create I make this and this as reference and I create two arcs to create a close contour yes uh, this is a little tricky I, I recognize this fillet 10 between these two and four and the lower part okay 
escape. Finish sketch. This is our sketch uh, to be uh, used for uh, extrusion. Let's apply. But let's see uh, uh, what is the situation before. We create now only this uh, part, these two uh, ribs, yes? Then we'll create the ends, the rounded parts. But now we are uh, in position to create these two. In fact, uh, this uh, this uh, pocket, yes, extrude this at uh, the dimension is this, of course. 12 yes this is 12 and the angle is minus 15 a continuation of uh, a minus 15 at the previous volume okay we see no difference Yes, here we have the same minus 15 up and down. And this is the separation uh, line between the uh, two mold parts. Yes. Okay. We go further with the, the two ends conical ends and we start with this one because uh, it has the same uh, angle taper angle this is uh, 34 millimeters the angle is 5 degrees the diameter is 51 we have to uh, use 51 from uh, here d6 you remember d6 is uh, 41 and the other is d5 uh, 64.5 which will use immediately d6 and d5 The plane is uh, this plane, yes, where we create a sketch with D6, F7, project geometry to have a center, and D6 is the diameter, D6, 51, finish sketch extrude 34 you remember 34 symmetrical and the taper minus 5 now we are expert in this matter you see how it looks very nice now let's go to the other end with the same plane and uh, a new sketch with d5 diameter t5 if somebody changes the uh, diameter it is changed all over the part this is why I use uh, uh, parameters finish sketch and now we have to be careful because there are two taper angles a small extrusion here and a large extrusion here seven 
on the small, five on the large. They are measured here. Yes. 35 is the total dimension and uh, and nine point five is the small dimension. So one is thirty one is nine point five and the other is thirty five minus nine point five. I can use also the dimensions from the uh, the parameters here but uh, you can do this okay extrude uh, extrude different or asymmetric extrusion with this the first this is the large one which is uh, uh, 35 34 minus 9.555 and the angle is minus 5 the other one this one is 9.5 and the angle minus 7 okay f6 look at it very nice now there is a fillet here with a radius 11 this is a large uh, fillet and we have to apply now because then we respect what you see here all undimensioned fillet radii are two millimeters. Eleven. Yes. We select this fillet eleven and we select also the other edge. Now we apply a fillet on other uh, edges but respecting an order. Yes, look at what I make here to apply the same sequence plus this and this you uh, must uh, select the proper and not complicated this is complicated but now if I uh, apply uh, uh, this previous fillets this is not complicated yes plus this four and that's all yes take care of the border good next we have to uh, create this this holes yes this one and this one let's start with this 41.8 with uh, some uh, uh, chamfers of 0 0.5 let's create this one hole this face this concentricity and 41.8 it is also already selected okay now chamfer of 0 0.5 you see this sign uh, shows us that we cannot uh, apply two millimeters because uh, it is uh, forbidden 
So we place 0 0.5 and this is not forbidden on the both edges the same. Okay, you see this chamfer. The other hole is uh, uh, it needs a revolving. Yes, you see here a relatively complicated contour. Yes, but we are not afraid of anything. We are in a in good hands here. Yes. 55, 47.5, 52, a radius of 0 0.5, and this dimension 30.5 to here, between these two diameters, 30.5. And then a uh, uh, clearance. Here, a channel is uh, after the first moment. 52, 47.5, and a radius of uh, 0 0.5, and 30.5. Let's do. We select this plane, F7, and now we project geometry as uh, construction lines, these two uh, faces and then uh, we disable construction lines now we draw two lines two or three ending on the projected faces we also project the Y axis as a, a center line y axis as center line we disable center line and we apply diameters and distance this is 55 not 55 52 the other is uh, as I said, forty five point forty seven point five. English is not uh, so simple language when you uh, are not a British or American or other English poker. You see, thanks to God for me because I am 75 years old and I learned English with great interest for this matter, this language, this beautiful language. 30.5 was the less uh, the last uh, dimension now we have fully constrained here but we have to draw these two end lines to close the contour finish sketch revolve cut and okay the other small clearance we place in a separate sketch for you to be original. That is uh, two point fifteen is the width width of the channel, and the distance is twenty five for a roller bearing be sure with this diameter and with this uh, width it must be a roller uh, bearing 
25 and the diameter is 55 let's create this small clearance we select this generator which is uh, uh, especially created as a projection you see here we choose to make it uh, construction line and we project as a center line the y axis and then 55 is the diameter 55 2.15 is the uh, thickness of the 2.15 okay the thickness of the of the circlips here uh, to retain uh, the um, roller bearing and uh, Twenty five is the dimension. Okay. And now revolve. Revolve axis and cut. Okay. The last thing to do is uh, to apply this small uh, chamfer with one millimeter distance from the left face uh, to 30 degrees. We do this by selecting an edge, applying chamfer, not 0 0.5 at 45, but distance and angle distance is 1 angle is 30 okay the face from which we measure 1 millimeter is this face and the edge is this that's all and we uh, apply still cast it looks like forged parts still cast this and the uh, faces with uh, polished aspect but I forgot something still polished I forgot uh, fillet here yes look R0.5 let's place this around it 0.5 for the roller bearing which has uh, one millimeter I suppose at least a fillet I hope nothing is forgotten nothing is oh it is this is also two millimeters and this yes Two. What is this? It is uh, zero point five. 
and this is the finished part. The data is here. 567 grams. That's all. Bye-bye.